We present Moser, a method for monocular avatar reconstruction. Given a single input image, our method estimates the tail face geometry and reflectance maps at 4K. This can be rendered in high resolution from arbitrary viewpoints and light conditions. Reconstructing an avatar from a portrait image has many applications in multimedia, but remains a challenging research problem. Estimating skin reflectance from a single image is ill-posed, since the pixel colors in the image are the result of a complex interaction between light and the skin. Recovering geometry is also ill-posed, due to the ambiguity of focal length and depth. Geometry and reflectance can be captured under the control conditions of a light stage, but it is costly to acquire large datasets in this fashion. Moreover, training only with this type of data leads to poor generalization within the wild images. In this paper, we propose a semi-supervised training scheme that leverages both light stage and in-the-wild datasets. This is achieved using a novel differential shading formulation. We show that this achieves good generalization for in-the-wild images, generating more realistic avatars than state-of-the-art methods. Our method is composed of five parts. First, we perform 3D geometry reconstruction, obtaining a coarse mesh. We use this geometry to project the pixels of the input image onto a UV space. This texture will be incomplete due to parts of the face being occluded or not visible. This is used in a texture completion network to fill in the gaps. Next, we normalize the light in the scene to make it uniform across the face. We then separate the intrinsic face reflectance and finally, perform super resolution of the texture maps and render the scene. For 3D shape reconstruction, we consider a parametric scene representation where an encoder E estimates face geometry coefficients for both identity and expression, albedo, light, and camera parameters. These parameters are used in a differentiable render that enables self-supervised training by comparing the render scene and the input. In this paper, we propose using a nonlinear morphable model F. We jointly train E and F in a combination of light stage and in-the-wild data in a semi-supervised way. More specifically, for the in-the-wild, we optimize for photometric and landmark losses, as well as a regularization term. For light stage data, besides using these losses, we also directly supervise the vertex positions and the vertex normals. The light normalization step aims to produce uniform light on the subject. This enables using simple light models for the remaining of the pipeline, even for in-the-wild images that can present complex light conditions. If this step is omitted, unexplained light contributions, such as strong directional lights, end up baked in the final estimated reflectance maps. For this step, we create a dataset by rendering subjects with random environment maps. We then train an image-to-image -image translation network to recover the texture with normalized light M. We use the normalized texture M to estimate intrinsic phase parameters. We use image-to-image -image translation networks to generate the texture maps for diffuse, specular, ambient occlusion, and translucency. We use a two-stage process to estimate a fine-grained displacement map, then convert it to a normal map. We then combine all maps using a novel differentiable shading. This enables self-supervised learning from in-the-wild images, making the model robust to arbitrary light conditions. We use the following loss function. L-shading is the L1 norm between the input M and the rendered image M hat. L-gan is an adversarial loss added for each map separately. We also supervise this model when trained with light stage data. This enables the separation of maps that would otherwise be entangled. Let's look at some results. First, we compare the estimated 3D geometry from our method to state-of-the-art methods that specialize in geometry prediction without supporting texture map generation. Our method produces meshes with more similar likeness to the input images, notably on the nose and the overall shape of the face. It also better captures high-frequency details such as wrinkles and folds than other methods. We now compare Moser to state-of-the-art full avatar reconstruction methods, FitMe and Relatify. First, we show the recovered geometry. Our method is better at capturing the facial structure and expression resulting in a likeness that more faithfully resembles the original image. It also captures details such as wrinkles and folds in the geometry. 
Since our method obtains a better disentanglement of intrinsic facial attributes, it produces more realistic renders in arbitrary light conditions, as seen here. In particular, other methods do not capture wrinkles in their geometry. The wrinkles are in turn captured in their diffuse albedo, resulting in res less realistic renderings under novel lighting. We also observe more realistic renderings across a variety of environment maps, such as this indoor scene. Here we show results with four other subjects. We are also introducing a new public dataset called FFHQ UV Intrinsics. This dataset contains intrinsic texture maps for 10,000 subjects for the FFHQ UV dataset. Namely, we produce a light normalized texture, diffuse, specular, normal, ambient occlusion, and thickness maps. This dataset aims to accelerate research on this field. We presented Moser, a complete framework for creating realistic, relatable avatars from a single portrait image. Our results are robust to uncontrolled, in the wild capture conditions generating high-quality assets thanks to its semi-supervised training. Our method achieves a faithful decomposition of face intrinsic parameters guided by our novel differentiable shading. Thank you for watching. More details on the method and additional results can be seen in the paper.